Hello, uh, it's Michelle here. I've got a movement sequence um, for you today. So this one's called Wake Up and Stretch. So it's one to kind of get you going, get you moving in the morning, get that energy flowing. Um, so I've got a cushion with me. So if you can grab a cushion um, or a pillow or something, we're gonna use that right at the end for the relaxation. Um, and if anything doesn't feel um, great today for your body, anything doesn't feel good, then just um, leave that bit out and join in again um, when you can. So if you feel dizzy or anything like that, then just stop, have a rest, have a drink. Um, yeah, and, and kind of listen to your body and, and what feels good for you today. So let's get started. So of course you need a chair. So you can sit in your chair. I'll pop this just down by the side because we'll need that towards the end. Um, so if you come towards the front of your chair, so you don't want to be sat all the way back, kind of leaning back on the chair, so come away from that, um, sit forward on your chair, so with the feet flat on the floor, you want to bring your heart up, so sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Okay, so to start with, we're going to imagine that you're just waking up from bed and you are going to have a nice stretch in the morning, so we're going to stretch the arms up towards the sky, Bring them round to the sides and down. Okay, so imagine this is your morning stretch. So up, stretch to the sky. And bring the arms round and down. So we're going to do five of those, okay? So number five, stretch the hands up. Breathe in, and the arms come back round. Okay, so number four, again, stretch up to the sky. You can look up to the sky with your hands. And you can look down as your hands come down. Okay, number three, stretch up to the sky. You might want to breathe in as your arms go up and breathe out as your arms go down. Okay, so two more, so stretch up. Breathe in if you want to use the breath as well. And then stretch those arms. Okay, and last one, so stretch up. And bring those arms wide and down. Okay, lovely. Okay, so so now again, sitting up nice and tall, bring the heart up, roll the shoulders back. Okay, so now we're going to warm up um, the neck a little bit. So what I want you to do is imagine that you've got a squashy ball you know, resting on top of your shoulder next to your neck. Okay. And then you're going to give that squashy ball a gentle squeeze, okay? So this ear is going down towards this shoulder. The shoulders stay down. So just imagine you're yeah, squashing, it could be an orange or anything there, resting on your shoulder. Nice and gently. Okay, and then slowly come up to the middle. Okay, so now you can imagine putting that squashy ball onto the other side. So you've got a squashy ball on your shoulder next to your neck and you're just going to give it a gentle squeeze on the other side. Okay, so this ear is going down towards this shoulder. Brilliant, and now slowly come back up. We're gonna do that once more on each side, okay? So again, get your squashy ball, pop it on your shoulder, and a nice stretch over to one side. You can have some nice breaths in and out as you do this. And then we're going to move the squashy ball from that shoulder, bring it over to this one. And again, a nice stretch to that side. Okay, lovely. Um, so next, we're going to work on warming up the spine, okay? Um, so we're going to do cat-cow, so that's in a chair. Um, so if you were doing it on a mat, um, on all fours, um, they normally call it cat-cow, right? 
but we're gonna yeah do it in a chair today so for the first movement I want you to send your heart forward and your elbows go back and you look up yeah, so towards the top of the wall so this is the cow posture yeah okay and then we're going to curve back into the cat posture so that's when you curve your back around your spine the other way around And your head drops down, your arms might come forward. Okay, and then we're going to open up again to cow posture. What I'm going to do is you keep doing what you're doing. I'm just going to turn around so that you can see the difference between the two postures. So we're going to open up into cow, so heart comes forward, arms come back. And you might have a slight arch in the back here. And then gently curve around into cat posture. So you're curving your back round the other way and let that head drop forward. Okay, and keep going with that. So we're going to open up into cow posture. Heart comes forward, shoulders back. Look up towards the top of the wall. And then curve back again into cat posture. So curving through the spine the other way round. Okay, brilliant. So we'll keep going with those. Let's do three more. Okay, so open up into cow posture. Heart comes forward. Arms, shoulders back. And then we're rolling back through the pelvis into cat posture. Okay, and now keep going, open up into cow posture. So we're making a bit more like a flowing movement here. And then curve back into cat posture. Great, and then keep going, open up again into cow. And then last one, curve back round into cat posture. There we go. Lovely, okay. Um, so we started to warm up um, the neck, the arms, the spine. So now we're gonna focus on the shoulders a bit. So let's start off with some nice, gentle shoulder circles, just to get the shoulders moving. It. And you can do this as slow as you want to. And you can think about your breath as you do it, or how the shoulders are feeling today. Lovely. Okay, so we're starting to loosen up the shoulders here. So next, we're going to bring the shoulders up like this. So bring the shoulders up towards the ears, hunch up those shoulders. A bit like kind of Frankenstein move, isn't it? From um, Frankenstein film. <laughs> and then we're going to slowly let those shoulders lower down. That's it. Lovely. Okay, and then bring those shoulders up again. And again, just gently let those shoulders lower down. Yeah. Okay, so keep going with that. So bring the shoulders up towards the ears. And then let those shoulders go down. Okay, so next time you bring your shoulders up, you could breathe in. And then as you drop your shoulders gently, you can breathe out. Okay, let's try three more of those with the breath so you can bring your shoulders up. And then let those shoulders gently fall down with the breath. Okay, two more. Bring the shoulders up. And then let those shoulders fall. Okay, and last one. Shoulders come up.
lovely. Okay, so next we're going to do a really gentle kind of twist. Yeah. So we want you to keep your feet flat on the floor. So get in a good sitting position on the edge of your chair. So lift up through the heart, roll the shoulders back. Okay. And then we're just going to really gently. I like doing the twist a bit this one. So a really gentle twist. And don't do any more than what your body, more than what feels good for your body. So just really gentle movements. And you can move your head as well with your body. So you can move it all in line. And you can have your eyes closed or open for this. And just try to get a little bit in the flow of the movement. Enjoy the movement. So nice and gently. Let's roll the shoulders back, sit up nice and tall. And now we are going to do um, so a gentle twist. So sit up nice and tall. You can have your hands on your heart or you could bring your hands together at your heart. So whatever you prefer. So yeah, sit up tall, roll the shoulders back. Take a nice breath in. And keep those feet glued to the floor as you breathe out and gently just twist round to one side. And it might be the smallest movement here. And that's great. It's whatever feels good for you. So just a tiny, tiny movement. It's still good. So sit up nice and tall as you breathe in. And gently twist around as you breathe out. And you can bring your head to look all the way around as well. So you can follow the twist round with your head. So keep those feet glued to the floor and keep your bottom firmly sat in the chair. So take a nice breath in and gently come back round to the centre. Okay, so now we're going to go round to the other side. So if you can, keep your hands there. If you need to give them a little shake, you can do. Sit nice and tall those shoulders back and down. Take a nice breath in. And then as you breathe out, gently twist around to that side. So can you see that my knees haven't moved, yeah? So my feet are staying in the same position, glued to the floor. My bottom stays in the same position, firmly sat on the chair. So I'm moving from this area, from my stomach, that's where my twist is starting. And again, you can follow it round with your head, your side. So breathe in, sit tall, and twist gently as you breathe out. Nice breath in, and as you breathe out, you can gently come back round to the centre. Okay, lovely. Right, so now, when, when you're ready, when we're all ready, we're going to start to work down towards the lower body. Yeah. Um, so let's start. Um, yeah, so start with your with your leg. We're just going to gently bring your foot off the floor. Yeah. So to wherever feels good for you, yeah, you might just bring it up, just, just a tiny bit of the floor. Some of you might be able to kind of hug it in more towards your chest if that feels good, great. If 
No. And just hold, hold that leg wherever it feels good. We're just warming up the hips, starting to warm up the hips. Go back to the floor and so now on the other side so just slowly bring your foot up off the floor to wherever feels good for you today you can use your hands to support your leg you might be able to squeeze it in a little bit Lower that leg. Okay. So now we start to warm the hips up. We're going to get marching. So let's do some marching. Okay. So see how high you can get those knees when you're marching. So let's see if we can do a minute. Let's do a minute's marching. So get those knees up. You can use your arms too. Like so that's great. Keep going. We're coming up to halfway for our minute of marching. Okay, so keep going. start to feel it in your legs now I can start to feel it if you can keep going if you need to rest then do okay brilliant well done gosh so it shows a minute it's quite a long time isn't it um great so we've done a minute of marching there so now we're going to do a leg stretch to the side okay so bring one leg out to the side and just bring it as far as feels good for you yeah just extend it as, as you can so for this you do need to be kind of sat on the edge of the chair so you can get that reach with your leg yeah and bring that foot in okay and we'll do that on the other side so Stretching out that leg to one side. That's great. So you might feel a stretch. I can I feel the stretch all the way down my thigh there. Yeah. Okay, and we'll do that again and stretch that out. If you want to add in an arm, please do. <laughs> it's quite a good dance move, that one. <laughs> okay, bring that back in. So bring the leg out again if you need to have that one and then go for it. Something just feels right about that, <laughs> that pose. <laughs> and bring that foot back in. Okay, good. And now we're going to stretch the leg out in front, okay? So you might not quite be able to see, but I've got, yeah, I've got my heel down into the floor, my toes pointing up towards the ceiling. So stretching out that leg. As long as that feels okay for you and then bring that one in and then we're going to stretch out on the other side so again I've got my heel digging into the floor my toes pointing to the ceiling okay. lovely bring that back in and then we're going to do it again so stretch that other leg out and then if you want to bring the hands into it let's bring the hands up high because that feels good for this one Okay, and then bring them in, and then again on the other side, and optional arms there. Okay, great. So we've just got two more movements before before we're done. So for the next one, um, so sit up nice and tall, come on the edge of the chair, roll your shoulders back, heart lifting there. Okay, and just let your arms kind of hang loosely at your side. So we're going to do a gentle side stretch here. So we're just going to let one arm drop down. Okay. And then you can see we're stretching this side all the way down here. 
So hopefully you can feel a nice stretch on one side of the body. So try not to collapse that one. Stay nice and upright, stretching out this side of your body, making space. Okay, and then breathe in and come up. Great, and then we're gonna go down on the other side. So let the other arm just drop down and stretch along this side of the body, okay? your body if you need to move in any way then do that before we get into the relaxation posture for the last, last bit of the class okay in the session and um, right so you'll need your cushion for this bit and um, so you can sit you might want to scooch back in your chair so you're kind of fully sat on the chair bring your cushion on your lap you don't have to use a cushion it's up to you and so just before we finish, we're just going to have a nice gentle kind of fold forward, okay? We're going to come onto our elbows, onto the knees, if, if that's, um, you know, if that's good for you. So the cushion just gives you a bit of extra support, a bit more contact and get some of the weight off the shoulder, um, off the elbows. Okay, so you're just kind of folding forward over the cushion and just letting your head hang down. So we're just going to take a couple of moments here before we finish. So you can let your head hang. You can gently move it from side to side if that feels good for you. So before we finish, just take a couple of moments. So you can think about your breath here, so you might notice when you breathe in and when you breathe out. And you might think about the shape of your body. Curve in your spine, the curve in your neck, your strong legs. Or just listen to the music and just have a couple of moments' peace before you get on with your day. Okay, so you might want to start to think again about breathing in and breathing out. Start to make a few movements with your fingers, your toes. If that feels right, okay, and then in your own time, you can really slowly, really gently 
start to curve up through the spine. Bringing the head up last, so rolling up through the spine, the shoulders, and then the crown of the head. And then you might want to open your eyes. Okay, lovely. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that kind of wake up stretch routine. Um, yeah, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.